Last year, the organizers of the Philippine Blockchain Week held a three-day event that featured influencers and influential speakers from the blockchain space. This year, it's happening again, and we're about to find out what's in store. Just to give you the best experience for this year, um, we have partnered with uh, DTI, DICT in terms of the creatives and the hackathons and the blockchain 101s. Also, we partnered with Michael Cinco. We will be having a Metaverse Fashion Gala and we will also focus more on gaming this year. So the whole basement of uh, Philippine Blockchain Week, because last year we did not um, actually utilize that um, area, but now we will be partnering with uh, Tier 1 uh, Entertainment and um, other gaming companies to actually bring more cosplayers, um, gamers, and streamers. The DICT, or the Department of Information, Communications, and Technology, shows its full support. Our nation has shown readiness no, and eagerness in embracing blockchain technology and innovation with immense potential to revolutionize sectors. I'd like to introduce one of the mandates of the ICT is to ensure the growth and development of the ICT industry, including, of course, emerging technology and blockchain, to make sure that we have jobs for Filipinos. We are implementing a program called SETPH, stimulating the growth of emerging technologies in the Philippines. So that's where all our different initiatives for blockchain are being implemented. An information campaign by the DICT will educate Filipinos about the different opportunities in blockchain. The Department of Trade and Industry is taking part too. Seeing all of you here, I think we are now moving at the whole of society approach of doing things and making this country competitive. With the current administration, we have this what we call science, technology, innovation-based industrialization strategy. And the recent addition to that priority sector is the creative industry. So in terms of adoption of blockchain, we can reposition the question to the creative industry where the adoption is more likely, visible, and easy to propose or move as an agenda. So for example, we are particularly interested with the visual arts, design, and that is actually where the blockchain community will come in. There are a number of paintings and visual arts that are coming into the space of digitalization and some digitalized assets. Apart from government agencies, the country's financial sector is well represented. The thing about our finance sector, the SEC, the BSP, even the Insurance Commission, our regulators are embracing technology. And in fact, there's a high appreciation as far as blockchain technology is concerned. Philippine Blockchain Week is a gathering that celebrates everything blockchain. For its lead convener, Donald Lim, they're taking it a step further. Last year was all about generating that awareness, right? So it's all about telling people, hey, there's a new body of water there. This year is all about, hey, take a dip. The water's fine. Bitcoin mining, Bitcoin wallet, blockchain, stablecoins, metanet, the evolution of money. Everybody is talking about Bitcoin today, but what exactly is it? Learn the basics from experts. Learn what Bitcoin is, how it works, and why it matters. Blockchain 101, your ultimate guide to the fundamentals of blockchain.